Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to learn how to draw different drawing or different shape in Stat Pro. So I first open Stat Pro, click on new project, click on space because it's going to be three dimensional and select length unit meter and force unit kilonewton then click on next select add beam and finish now basic is the you have to choose the axis you want to draw you have to understand the axis first If I close the snap node beam here, you can see here there are the three axes. It will be easy if you go to the stat, sorry, AutoCAD. You can see this is the Z axis, this is the X axis, and up and down is the Y axis. Now, if you have a drawing, when you have a drawing, the drawing should look like this. There are four room. Suppose there are four room, and the drawing in the AutoCAD is X and Y axis. Let's forget all the axis and just for e it will be easy for you to draw in Stat Pro in AutoCAD x axis is the same as the stat pro but in the y axis you will assume it as a z axis all you have to do if you draw a model in autocad just like that or there is baranda or you can say lobby toilet kitchen etc etc it just has four room and the axis is for the top it is x and it is minus x down is the z and up is the minus z okay you have to draw from here this will be your first node that is 0 comma 0 so we are going to draw this drawing in stat pro from this node so go to stat pro you can create the node from here give the node as 0 0 0 this node is the three dimension node is has three dimension if you select the node cursor and double click on the node you can see the node has three dimension zero 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 now you have to draw a room in the x-axis it is 3.65 then it is 4.95 so in the x axis select the node copy the node for copy the node control C from your keyboard it will be easy or right click copy and for paste the node control V from your keyboard or right click paste and the node dimension in the x direction is we are going to give only x dimension 3.65 put 3.65 in x okay now we have two nodes in the x direction there is also 
a room and that's why it has a node this point okay it is 4.95 the distance between the nodes so copy the node control c from your keyboard paste the node control v from your keyboard in the x direction 4.95 okay now now we are going to draw in the z direction if you have problem in the three dimension isometric view you can go to the top view you can see view from y positive and you can see this is the x axis this is the z axis forget the y axis right now, now x axis nodes are created now we are going to create the y axis node sorry z axis nodes in the z axis there are two nodes distance 2.95 and 3.50 at first 2.95 now select you can select one by one nodes or you can select the total nodes if the node dis no nodes are the same distance now select all, all nodes and copy the nodes from your keyboard control c and paste control plus v distance is in the z axis is 2.95 in the z axis is 2.95 ok see the nodes are created again 3.35 3.55 select the all nodes sorry select the nodes and copy the nodes control C and paste the node control V in the Z axis 3.55 ok all nodes are created now you have to do is connect the nodes for connecting the nodes go to add beam click on add beam and just select the nodes and create the beams okay this is easy now if I want to draw from this zero 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 node to up that is there's three thousand Now it is the it is the first node. We have to draw from the zero zero node to three thousand or you can say three meter in the negative z axis. Then what we you will do? Go to the stat pro, select the node beam cursor sorry node cursor select the 000 node copy the node control C paste control V in the X Z direction that is negative so minus 3 meter okay 
see the nodes the node has been created similarly just select this two node copy paste in the minus 3 in the z direction the nodes are it is and just add the beams the minus value doesn't affect the value in your uh, sorry this minus value doesn't affect your result it is just the drawing not the loads okay so now you know how to draw in stat pro so if you have any problem comment on the video or mail me i will get back you soon thank you